So I know today I said I'll walk you through my, my balcony and uh, speak of the plants, but I didn't manage to, to get the time for that. Instead, I'm gonna do a, a quick styling on this one and, and two dwarf pomegranates because I want to, to clean them up a little bit. They're getting very, very big and uh, I want to put some wires and maybe squeeze another pruning this year out of them because they grow so violently. So let's go. Okay, so first of all, here I have two branches that grow from the same spot. This is not quite good because they create a, a bulge there. They will create a lump here and I will get reverse taper. So, first of all, let me take care of that. Let's just clean this stump up. And I think I'm gonna remove this one and turn this into my new leader. Okay, because I need a leader on my tree. I could have used used this branch but it's growing from the same spot so I don't want to keep this I can propagate this but I need to be careful because woody lignified okay branches uh, don't propagate in the summer so let me put this aside I'm gonna put it in in a glass of water and propagate it Second of all, I want to do a little bit of a pruning. These dwarf pomegranates grow very, very violent. In theory, I could just let them be, but I grow them on, on, on a balcony and that's a problem for me because if they get too big water will not reach the uh, very very long parts and I'm struggling with that because of the low humidity that can be a problem so I'm thinking of doing uh, much more heavy pruning but you know what I think I'm gonna do it because again this being so having such a violent growth it's gonna be just fine so here I go I'm gonna prune more I think but for now I'm just going in slowly because I want to put the wires first. So what I've got here, I've got a little branch with which I can continue. Let me show you. Okay, I've got this branch. This branch will grow like this. This is just going to be my leader. Here also, I can prune it hard like this. And I've got my branch here and another branch there. So, I think I'm gonna use a two millimeter wire and just tie those two branches together. Nice and simple. Nothing too fancy right now, but we need to, to start forming this tree. So here we go. Trying to find the the middle of the of the wires. And here I go. It's harder to, to wire trees that 
are in uh, in full uh, in full lift but you have to do it when they're older and more uh, more formed you can just only wire them when when they're not uh, in the in the winter when they're not growing and that's a lot a lot more easy so for now this will be fine let's go with the the little branch here taking care not to to damage the buds of course I can damage some leaves there's no problem with that but not the buds okay so let's cut the excess and now let's try to shape the tree as I said this is going to be my leader, so my leader will go like this, and this little fellow here will go like this. Maybe a little bit more down, and up again, okay, towards the, towards the tip. So. I'm fine, fine with it for now. Let's get this aside and bring the big fellow in. So I've got this big guy. This big guy, I wired, I tied it with a plastic thingy here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it off, okay? and just try to do something with it again <coughs> I'm gonna prune it so here I go again choosing and removing branches that grow from the same spot okay I don't know if I'm going to water it today. I've got three. I've got three little. Uh, I've got three little branches that grow from the same spot down there. Yeah, you see, one, two, three. They're not growing from the same spot. They they're growing from the same area, but. I'm gonna let them be for now because they are thickening my my trunk okay in the lower section and I will get better and better uh, taper so I've got a leader here yeah you can see what I can do yeah I'm, I'm not going to wire it today I'm gonna let this thicken up a little bit and I think in about a month I will uh, come in and wire because when the the fall comes the autumn okay uh, that's the best time for uh, for you to wire uh, trees put a lot of weight on them in that period and it's a very 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 uh, good time to to just wire the trees so I'm just going to prune the top a little bit to 
try to remove that apical okay dominance all the trees want to grow big towards the top by doing this just a little bit here and there by doing this I'm able to control that growth because we don't want violent growth on on the top and by doing this I'm redistributing <laughs> redistributing the uh, the growth in other places so yeah I'm, I'm not going to do too much you can see these branches are very very long that grow from the bottom part that's why uh, this is a very 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 nice tree to make uh, as a bonsai dwarf pomegranate I'm quite amazed how the how the lower branches just grow so so they're they're bigger than the top okay that <laughs> just it, that's just amazing for me and maybe I will put a little wire just like this to keep them in place but <clears throat> I don't want to keep that wire on for for too long because my branches will just uh, will just stick like like that, and I don't want that. Okay, they'll they'll grow. Okay, they're harden. They will harden like this, and but for now uh, they're uh, pretty thin, and I can wire them in about a month. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.